So I asked you on your website if it's allowed for me to go to public places to have coffee or tea with my friends where there is music playing in the background. And in all of my places, there is always music playing. So you answered to my question by just sending me a video. And I got confused that it is two different scenarios. So am I allowed to go there because I didn't initiate the action of playing music or is it not permissible? Jazakum Allah khairan. Well, jazakum. First of all, I don't know what was in the video, so don't quote me for that. Um, however, listening to music is prohibited without any doubt. And music is prohibited in the four schools of thought. And it was mentioned in three places in the Quran. And it was prohibited by the Prophet ﷺ in Sahih al-Bukhari and elsewhere in the authentic Sunnah. Now, there is a difference, as the scholars say, between hearing and listening. What is the difference? Hearing is something that is unintentional, something that's not voluntary, something that is forced upon you and you have no control over it. So I am driving and at the traffic light, a car parks or is there next to me and the windows are rolled down and the man in it is listening to music. He's blasting the sound with music. He's sinful and he gains the sins of everyone who's listening to it, but he doesn't care. Maybe he has credit, I don't know. Maybe he's most likely ignorant and doesn't know the ruling. Either way, what are my responsibilities? Am I sinful for this music? If I'm hearing it, then there's no sin on me. But if I start tapping on the steer wheel and go with my head like this and enjoying it and singing with that song, then I'm listening to it. I'm sinful. Likewise, when you go to a mall or unfortunately in some um, hospitals, if you are in public transportations, they may play music. In this case, are you hearing or listening? If I'm hearing it, which means that I'm not happy with it, I'm resenting it, I'm abhorring it, then there is no sin on you. Now, when it comes to restaurants and coffee shops and the likes, some scholars say that, yeah, you're going to eat, you're going to drink coffee, there's no problem in going there. However, the most authentic opinion is that your presence there is not of a necessity. It's not an issue of life and death. It's not the only supermarket in town where I have to go to do my groceries and they're blasting music all over their speakers. No, it is something I can control. I can always take my food takeaway. I can always grab a, uh, my coffee in a paper cup and we go to the park or we go sit somewhere where there is no music. But it would be inappropriate for you as a practicing Muslim, following the way of the Salaf, known to be a da'i or trying to be in such a place where you would be hearing the music and sometimes be affected by it. And this happened to me once where I was in one of the hotels and we were having a coffee and all of a sudden they started playing the music. And it was a song that I knew like 45 years ago. And you cannot help it. But to remember the lyrics and to remember how, enjoy how joyful it was to listen to music at that time. May Allah forgive us. So in such cases, run. Don't tarnish your heart. Your heart is so fragile. It can be tarnished and hardened by any of these small sins. And this is what Satan does best and Allah knows best.